yes, I am finally making the weight loss video that literally nobody asked for. So, hi, hello, my name is Alexia, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. Like, <laughs> and you should, like, totally subscribe because, like, why wouldn't you want to come again? Like, I'm, like, so pleasant and everything. Oh my god, that's literally making me sound so... <sighs> this is my weight loss video where I'm basically gonna just go over like how much I lost and like basically how I did it. I'm just gonna like roughly go over things. I'm not gonna like go into too much detail but if you do want me to like make another video like just focused on like exercise or like just on diet where I go into like a lot of detail I can totally do that. <laughs> I will show you a before and after, which was in the thumbnail, but here's to, so you can see it again. Right here, I will put a picture of me in, I believe, July of 2018, and right here I will put a more recent photo, just so you can see, like, a comparison. The amount of time it took me to get to basically where I am now was basically from about August to April. How many months is that? I don't even know. I think just a bit, like six to eight months, I think it is. Maybe eight. I don't really want to count <laughs> because, you know, these things do take time. It's really not going to happen overnight and you really have to be dedicated to it. You have to really put in the effort or you're not going to see change. Even after you get to a point where you say like, oh, I'm ha good now. I think like I don't need to lose any more weight. You still need to keep up these habits that you put down to lose the weight because if you go back to the way you were, then it's just all going to come back. Like you can loosen up a little bit, like not be as strict, but you really just, you can't just go back to the way you were. And I really don't recommend like trying to lose weight for a specific occasion because, well, once that occasion passes by, then will you really still have the motivation to like keep up? I mean, maybe you will, but maybe you won't. Okay, so I can't tell you like how many pounds I lost because I really don't like to weigh myself. Like I still don't like to weigh myself, but I can tell you like how many sizes I went down and like how many inches I lost off my waist and like all that jazz. So like with jean sizes, I used to wear a size 10 or 11 and I now wear like a size zero or like a one. And also with the clothing sizes, I used to wear a size large. So what I neglected to mention just then was prior to me losing weight, like when I was at my lowest point basically, I was like, it was apparent that I needed to size up to an extra large like the large wasn't exactly fitting anymore and that's why the title is what it is and and now I wear I'm sorry my brother is in the next room being loud as hell and it's so annoying and now I wear an extra small as per my waist inches I used to be a I believe like 30, 32 I believe, and it is now a 24. So that's a good, I believe, 8 inches off my waist, which when you think about it, like that's kind of a lot. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get into what I did. Exercise is important, but the most important factor to really like keeping the weight off is diet like you really just need to watch what you eat like they say you can't outwork a bad diet and it's true i used to eat like crap like that's why i was like so like chubby or whatever like i just i ate whatever the hell i want and i don't have like a super high metabolism or anything i wasn't blessed with that i'm not naturally skinny which i was but what are you gonna do oh also like little disclaimer I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not like a trainer or anything, I'm not a doctor, like this is just what I did, what I think is healthy and how it worked for me. 
So when I decided I wanted to lose weight, I just changed my diet entirely. I cut out all sugars, and I don't mean like fruit and all that, I mean like anything that has any kind of added sugars, I wouldn't eat it. Like you really need to read the ingredients of the products you buy, it's really important. Just because the label says it's healthy doesn't mean it's healthy. And the nutrition facts, there's an area where it says added sugar. If there's any at all, I won't buy it. Like, it's just not worth it. I also cut out carbs, which I know, like, people, like, say, like, oh, you shouldn't do that. But it's, like, it's just something I do. <laughs> like, and if I do eat bread, it's whole wheat. Like, just don't be eating white bread. That's, like, awful. And also just, like, other filler carbs like white rice, just like white crackers or whatever, like a good example is like Ritz crackers, like those also have sugar in them by the way. Mostly changed their recipe since I last tried trying out it. And you're really just making sure that every single meal has a source of vegetables and protein. That's just really important. I know making these changes can be very overwhelming at first, like they definitely were for me. I was actually addicted to sugar and I definitely had withdrawal. It sucked ass. But what you can do if you don't want to just jump right into it is you can just like make little changes. Maybe you always eat white rice. Maybe you can substitute in brown rice. Maybe you're always eating like, you know, potato chips for a snack. Maybe you could swap that out for like some fruit and like popcorn. And when I say popcorn, I don't mean like that shit you get at the movie theater. I mean like not plain popcorn but like popcorn where like there's only three ingredients and that's popcorn, like some kind of oil like olive oil or like coconut oil and some salt and that's it. So I'm just gonna go over like a rough idea of what I eat in a normal day. For breakfast I have a smoothie and in that smoothie I have like some kale, some spinach, half a banana, some blueberries, a little bit of almond butter, some unsweetened plant-based protein powder because the sweetened kinds always have sugar in them. Like, you know, like vanilla or chocolate flavor, it's just like, it's it's got the added sugars. And the thing is like, with the banana, it can cover up the taste of the protein powder, which is honestly just nasty. But the banana is able to cover it up. <clears throat> and for liquid, I will use some almond milk. And that's again another thing where you really need to check the ingredients. <laughs> like just the other week, like I was stupid and I didn't read the ingredients of my almond milk. And it turns out the kind that I had bought had tons of added sugars in it. And I just felt like an idiot. But I was like, well, I gotta drink this all because like, I don't want to waste it. And I just felt so awful. <laughs> I generally won't eat between breakfast and lunch. But for lunch, I will basically just have a salad and there's like spinach, kale, a little bit of lettuce, some black olives, and for dressing I only use lemon juice, pepper, and salt. That's it. Hi, oh my god, it's Krusty Me again. So basically the reason why I only use like lemon, pepper, and salt for my dressing is because I just find it difficult to find in stores both the dressing that I like and it also doesn't have anything that I don't want in there like I don't like nuts because I have an allergy or like sugars or like high sodium content or whatever and it's just easy to like do the simple like lemon and pepper and salt thing and lemon juice is also really good for digesting greens so it works out and I also like it so and I'll have some roasted chickpeas, I'll have some almonds, and I'll have some berries. So I always get snacky between lunch and dinner, so I'll just have, I'll have like an apple or something, and I'll have like some popcorn if I want it. And then for dinner, I generally will have just roasted vegetables with either tofu or tempeh, which if you don't know, tempeh is like, it's a vegan protein source. It's kind of like if wheat bread and tofu like had a baby. And, you know, sometimes if I want to switch it up a little bit, I'll have, like, zucchini pasta with, like, tempeh in it. And then for dessert, I will have strawberries or an apple or something like that because I really do still want that sweet thing after dinner because I definitely have a sweet tooth, but I don't want to go in for, like, the ice cream or whatever. Some other things I do is I will drink two cups of green tea every single day. I drink decaf because 
I, my, I just can't handle caffeine. Like, I'm very sensitive to it. And I will drink a gallon of water every single day. That's not something I started initially, but when I did start, I definitely noticed a difference. Drinking a lot of water is just so good for you. It's good for your skin. It's good for everything. So I just want to address this. Like, when I started drinking a gallon of water every single day, it was, like, during the holidays, right? So I was, like, eating, like, crap a lot because it's the holidays. And I started drinking a gallon of water every single day, and I actually lost weight during that period and I wasn't eating as healthy as I normally was so that I feel like that just really shows how much the water like made a difference like my grandma like people swear she looks 20 years younger than she actually is and she says the secret is drinking water so another thing is it's important to not restrict yourself too much because a lot of people what happens is like if they restrict themselves too much then they just really miss that like those chips or that chocolate or the cake or whatever the hell and they'll just pig out and like just have like a whole ass pizza and like a whole tub of ice cream blah 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 and you don't want to get to that point i've definitely been there <laughs> so you know every so often if you want like some ice cream or something go get some ice cream like, it's just everything in moderation. Like, don't beat yourself up for every time you slip up. You need to remember that not everybody is perfect. And if you slip up, just say, like, you, you just gotta accept it. And the next day, just start over. For me, I will honestly have, like, a dessert or something probably twice a month. That probably sounds crazy, but... It's just what I do, and like for me, that's like letting myself like have something. <laughs> like I definitely know some people who are a lot more extreme than me. So, and now for exercise, I didn't immediately start this. I actually started this um, about five months or so into when I first changed my diet. Started going to the gym five days a week, and I will do about an hour and a half for each of those five days. So I would skip Monday and I would skip Friday. So on Tuesday is like cardio and basically what I do there is like I will hit like the like the bike machine you know or like the Stairmaster or whatever until I hit 400 calories and then when I get home I'll do a hit circuit that targets your legs and that will take me about 20 minutes. Wednesday I just work like general upper body you know all that and a little bit of abs. I actually do an ab workout after every single workout. The one that I do takes me about 15 minutes. Thursday is leg day, the most important day, <laughs> clearly. And that workout actually takes me like a hot ass minute and I will still do the ab workout afterwards. Saturday is cardio again and Sunday is leg day again. And also, like just like with the food thing, you don't have to jump into it all at once. Like if you don't work out at all right now but you want to start, you can just start going to the gym one day a week, then maybe the next week you can go two days. And eventually you can get to a point that you're happy with. What I do, like when I just don't want to go to the gym and I don't want to work out or if I'm in the middle of it and I just want to give up, I just ask myself like how badly do you want this body? And the answer is always like pretty damn bad. And so then I tell myself like okay well then this is what it takes and then I'll go do it. I know you should also just want to be healthy but like I'm also concerned with like you know, like, looking a certain way, which maybe not the healthiest, but whatever gets you going, right? And honestly, I think that's all that I have to say. If you're actually going to try out any of the things that I suggested, good luck. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate that so much. I hope you have a really cute day. Subscribe. <laughs> Follow me on everything, it'll all be in the description, and bye!